Okay, so moving on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we will do a sample recipe. Uh, olive oil and coconut oil are common. Um, these are all the different ones that you might come across. There's tons of them here. And I'm going to also choose palm oil. And castor oil. And these are common amounts of common amounts of um, or common types of oils that you'll find in soap. So if you're an ounces person, you know that say that you have 16 ounces in your mold. Say you want to do eight ounces of that as olive oil. We'll do four ounces of coconut, two ounces of palm two ounces of castor oil. And then make sure when you calculate, it will tell you what your total percentage is and your ounces are. Make sure you hit multiple tabs if you're experimenting. What you will do is you will hit view or print recipe and here comes our recipe. So it tells you your percentage, it tells you how much in pounds, ounces, and grams you would use. It tells you your water in pounds, ounces, and grams. Here is our profile, which is this part up here. So here's your profile, and it gives you your saturated fat ratio. Some people says this has to be 40-60. I don't believe that. None of my recipes are 40-60, because these two numbers, between saturated and unsaturated, always add up to 100, so it doesn't matter. It tells you your total fragrance ratio, which was the number that we put in here and our total amount of fragrance weight that we'll use. So if this were a 32 ounce batch of oils, then it would be, you know, two ounces of fragrance oil. So it tells you your water, your lye, your oil, your fragrance, and your weight before you cook it. As you lose, as your soap ages and cures, or if you cook it with hot process, it loses water, and you're left with just the soap and salt and a little bit of the oil left. So this is your weight before, like, like your raw weight when you're done with it, uh, mixing in the bowl. Um, I always use ounces for water. The only thing that I use grams for is lye. And the reason for that is um, ounces, there's 16 grams to one ounce. So that's a big measure and you can be off really easily and you're not gonna get as consistent a result. If you're off with your lye and grams just a little bit, that's okay because grams are so much smaller. I mean, it's literally like an itty bitty tiny little pinch. So right here where it says 63.485, follow your rules of rounding. If it's four or below past the decimal, round down. If it's five or above, round up. If you have an exact scale that gives you um, three or four decimal places, that's great. My, my scale doesn't, it only does full grams. So that's why I do the rounding. So I would do 6.1 ounces of water, 63 grams of lye, 16 ounces of oils, and one, one, one ounce of fragrance oil. And that's how I would measure mine. Okay. So this is now, again, this is our recipe here. Again, measuring in ounces if you're measuring in grams. Don't measure in pounds. I don't know why they have that. Unless you're making a huge 50 pound batch and you know that you're gonna need you know 20 pounds of coconut or whatever. That just doesn't make any sense to me to measure in parts of pounds. Always do ounces or grams. So now here we go to our quality profiles. Hardness, our range is 29 to 34. We have 35, that's a really good one. Cleansing is 12 to 22, 17 is again right in the middle, it's a good number. For me personally, where I have experimented, 17 is way too high. People that I've sent my soaps to, the ones that have values of 17, other people love them. Again, it's just gonna depend on the skin type and how your water is. If it's hard water, soft water, mineralized, water treated, water, raw water. Water is a huge amount of your soap performance. So don't worry about the numbers too much. The numbers will kill you. You just have to look at your soaping profile, right? your soap oil profile. If it's avocado oil, what does that do? If it's coconut oil, what does that do? That's more important than the numbers in my opinion. Uh, 62, this is good, this is what I aim for, and a bubbly of 28 and 29, this is fantastic, you're going to have a beautiful lather. I think this is a perfectly balanced soap and it's going to have some really wonderful qualities. Um, iodine, 62, well on a scale of 41 to 70, it's a little high, but it's still within the range. 
and in the INS is 147, so it falls right in the range. Everything falls in the suggested ranges, so it's this is a good soap. This is a good soap. Um, it's a good soap, <laughs> in my opinion, based on the numbers. And this is what we're really concerned with: is your is your acid profile. These numbers come from these numbers. Your higher lauric is for hardness, mysteric is for hardness, palmitic and steric, these are all for hardness. Rincinolaic, this can only come from castor oil. There's no substitute. You don't have to have castor oil. Um, all soaps will, will bubble, but you get better bubble with castor oil. Um, oleic acid and oleic, these come, I think, from your olive oil, and these are your slippery oils. This is your slippery pro profile. Again, just from my experience in the last year or so, um, looking at my recipes, these these are all pretty good. I think this will be a rock-hard so uh, soap that will feel pretty good. I personally think the cleansing is a little too high. So let's go back to soap calc. And this is why you want to have multiple tabs is because maybe we need to adjust this a little bit. So for this, I'm going to say, because when you first input your ounces, it gives you the percentages that you're using. I always like to multiply or to calculate by percentages anyway. I don't know why that's my preference, it just is. But I know that for me, that coconut oil is too, that 25 is too high. The max that I like to go to is 22%. And so let's calculate. So we need to add three because we've taken away three. So we need to put that three somewhere else. Let's do 52% olive. And we'll change palm to 13.5. Calculate again. And it changes our amounts. So let's go to take the two off. Take the two off. And then we'll round this up to 2.2. Let's see if we still get 16 ounces. And we do. And the reason that I do that is because my scale doesn't have two or three decimal places. So I just like to leave it at points. It will do parts of ounces. It doesn't do parts of grams. And if it changes your percentage a little bit, you know what? Who cares? That's not really what we're concerned with. Because when you actually measure, you measure with the ounces. I only look at the percentages to know what my acid profile is going to look like. So, new recipe, calculate, view and print. Here we go. Our hardness has gone down to 33, cleansing is 15, conditioning is 64. We lost a little bit of the bubble because bubble comes from coconut. That's why we need to know what our acid profile is, and that comes from our properties of soaps or soap oils. <laughs> and creamy is 29. So, let's compare that to our other recipe. So we've gone from 35 to 33, cleansings dropped from 17 to 15, but our conditioning has gone up from 62 to 64, and bubbly has dropped from 28 to 26. This is not a big deal. This is a very similar soap. Um, the hardness at 33 is going to be your soap is going to go faster at 33, but you can add hardness to your soap by adding salt, by adding sodium lactate, by using less water. Again, we soaped at full water. If we do less water, we'll have a harder bar faster, um, and it will also last longer, so that's something to consider. To me, the hardness number isn't a big deal. I just know that 33 is a, is a soap that will last me a little bit less than a month, and I want it to last about a month or a little bit over. 15 is as high as I would go for cleansing. I actually want to drop this just a little bit more to 21% even. And let's calculate that, see what we have. It's 99.1. Um, let's do 14 for palm. And 52 for olive. I'm still half a percent in short. Okay, let's do 50, 54 for olive, or 53.5 for olive and 12 for castor. Some people don't like high amounts of castor oil. If you're not comfortable with this, just drop it, let's say drop it to 10%. That's 98.5, so let's put that into palm and do 54 olive oil.
Okay, so once again we have our ounces that are partial ounces. Take the six away, or the four away, round this up to 3.4. Calculate, 16 ounces, view a print recipe. And here we go. Okay, so our hardness is still at 33, which is what it was here. Cleansing's 14, that's a much more comfortable number for me. For me personally, you're gonna to have to experiment with this. Conditioning is 63, which is a good number for me. Anything higher than that, I tend to get that sticky feeling I was talking about earlier. Bubbly is 23, which is a little bit low on the scale, but it, it, it's a perfectly good bubble for me. 28 is creamy, so we're gonna have some nice tight bubbles in there that'll feel nice and soft. I-964 which is what it was here, a little higher than it is there, so that's it's a little bit softer. And then INS is 143, it's 147 here. So I would say all three of these are good recipes. If I were going to make one of these today, this is the one that I would make because the cleansing value is 14. I have dry skin, sensitive skin, so for me a low cleansing number with a higher conditioning number is perfect. Um, also, you don't need for your bubble and cream to be in the really high range. The higher your know, lather numbers, the more drying it's going to be. So in the 20s is good for me. The only thing I want to do is I don't like to soap at full water because you lose so much of your um, so much of your soap that way your bars just shrink. So I'm going to go down to 35. Calculate recipe. Let's close the ones we're not going to use so that they are out of the way. And so for 38% water, it is 6 ounces. At 35% water, it's 5.6. So in a batch this small, it's 0.4, you know, half an ounce of water. If you wanted to discount further, you could. If you wanted to do milk, you could. Um, what I would do for milk is I'll take, say, my water is 5.6 ounces. And I like to substitute between a quarter and a third of my milk. So if I say 5.6 times 0.25, that will give me an amount of 1.4. So I'll go to my notes and I'll put liquid is 5.6, or liquid amount is 5.6, water, milk. And the calculator said at 25%, my milk is 1.4. And that leaves me with 3.2.5.6 minus 1.4, 4.2. I'm very bad at math, so at least in my head in decimals doesn't really work out. So this is how much I know for to add to my liquids. And then that's it. Anything else that you want to put in here? You have one pound of one pound of oil, maybe I want to put some oatmeal in there, so I'll put one teaspoon oatmeal, one pinch silk in the water, if you're using silk in your water. If you're using kale and clay, either to anchor your fragrance because you like the slip, or bentonite clay, or any type of clay, you might do one teaspoon because it's per pound of oil. Or if you're using multiple clay, say you're using rose clay to color and sea clay for the exfoliation, you might say half a teaspoon each of sea clay and rose clay and take this out. And these are just guidelines. You can use whatever you want to use. You just have to experiment. There's no hard and fast rule. And over here, I might remind myself because I have a lie that's 62.8, I might say use 63 grams by in 4.2 ounces water. Add the 1.4 ounces of milk to oils at trace. So there's a recipe. And that's pretty much how to use soap calc. I know I went through this really fast. It is just a video, so you can pause it. You can go back and replay it. If you have any questions, please leave it in comments and questions down in the love below. That's the description or the commenting box. Everything below the video is the love below. It used to be on the side, now it's below. So it's the love below. 
And I will put the links for these also down there in the love below so you can check your soap oil properties. And if you have any final comments or questions, go ahead and make sure to ask. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.